Hello YouTube and good morning. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day so far. It is currently about like 10.05 a.m. on Saturday. I know the original plan was for us to go down to LA, but we had some complications with Hertz. We were supposed to rent a car to go down there, but uh, complications came up and then we tried going to wine country, which is about two hours north of me, for those of you who know Napa Valley. But they did not have any uh, hotels, or we couldn't find any hotel rooms. So we, uh, all of our plans have been canceled, but we might go somewhere local, uh, Half Moon Bay or Monterey. Uh, 70 mile actually it's a very very touristy area so I'm actually taking the family car out to get a car wash and to get the inside cleaned up a little bit and I will continue the video there so I will see you guys later okay I'm at the car wash now I was going to start the video like 10 minutes ago but I actually met up with a high school friend's mom, so we talked for a little bit, but my car is currently actually being dried outside. I'll show you guys the process of the car being washed. Yeah, this is what my car went through, basically. Um, my car is actually right there, the blue SUV. I, I've only ever sat in the car once while my car was going through the wash um, because I didn't I didn't need the interior cleaned at all but usually we get the interior cleaned uh, wiped vacuumed so I'm just uh, I'm just waiting for the car to be done now and if I have enough time I'm gonna go across the street to get some Starbucks but if not I will catch you guys later because. Um, I'll just start the video back up when I'm down in Monterey or wherever we end up. So, I will see you guys soon.
Okay, here's a quick update. We actually got rerouted three times because of traffic, but the video clips you just watched, the GPS actually led us through a really, really, really nice mountain road, one that we've never ever taken through our maybe like 10 or 20 trips down to Monterey or Carmel within the past few years. So we, I may organize a drive with my friends sometime later in the future um, because that, that road is really fun. We went through a winery area and then we went through the mountains that kind of closely resembled Highway 9 and Highway 35, which is like the, the kind of like local back road that, that um, that I have in my backyard, but yeah, this is just an update. We stopped by McDonald's because my parent and I have to piss, and the next hour of the drive, um, I don't think there's anywhere to stop, and there's going to be traffic as well. So, with that being said, um, I will catch you guys later. We are going on the 17 mile. Um, if there's anything else, I will definitely get on video. But if not, then the next uh, the next portion of this video will start at I believe maybe the, the first uh, the first stop point of 17 mile drive so I will see you guys later all right here we are at the first viewpoint as you can see there's a lot of people don't exactly remember what it's called I literally never remember but So there are a bunch of rocks here for whatever reason. A lot more rocks than there were when I was here last time. Making our way to the ocean water. There's a lot more rocks than last time. Yeah. Huh, that's cool. The dog's like, no, no water. All right, this is the second stop. We were literally, where were we? 
somewhere over, I think, there, maybe, I think. Or no, we might have been, yeah, I think we were over there. Came around the corner, this is the second stop. What are these little gopher holes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, little gopher holes under the that. bench, too. What? Look at that. Gopher holes. <laughs> yeah. So, what we pretty much did was last time, it was hilarious. We backed the car onto the, the dirt yep. because we saw someone else doing it. And I think I just stepped in dog crap. There's more holes over here. I better stay away from that. Yeah, but anyway, so we saw someone else doing the same thing, and we thought, hey, it'd be really fun. So what we ended up doing was, I still don't remember, the back, the bumper of our car was literally on top of this green patch of, of, of plants. And then we just parked the car perpendicular to the, to the road. And what's funny was a bicycle or a cyclist even rode by us and told us that we probably should not park it off-roading. And did I care? No. Because, I mean, that's what a SUV is built for and that's what exactly how we used it. Alright, this is the third stop and I can tell I kind of smeared the lens. Hang on, one second. Better. Alright, this is the third, well, third stop. We came down that road, drove all the way down. We actually did not stop at that one, so I think we had like the fourth or fifth uh, vista point or checkpoint. Um, and now we're here at the stop after that. Infamous rock. And people like to, I guess, try their luck and uh, walk further than is recommended. I've done it before. Uh, it's a little dangerous if you are crap at balancing. And yeah, honestly, it's such a beautiful day. Um, a lot of people were coming. Actually, we literally, it took us two hours to get here. We went through three different mountains, but honestly, for, for what the drive was worth, it was completely worth it. Unfortunately, we had the SUV. If I had a Lexus, could have we could have taken that car. Had a very nice, uh, cal calming a cruise actually through the mountains, through the, the the winery section, and the second mountain, which was like Highway Nine and Thirty Five, like I said before. And um, yeah, it's just honestly, it's beautiful weather. No one's complaining at all. Um, saw a few nice cars, the Audi R8 that was parked right in front of our car at the first stop. And um, yeah, now my sister's climbing on the rock. She's done it before, so. But yeah, so I'll continue the video at the next stop. All right, we are at, now at the next stop. This specific viewpoint is called Bird Rock. The reason why is because usually that rock has a lot more birds, so maybe it's because today's too hot. Um, but there's some right there, some right there. Uh, but usually, like the last time I came, that rock was completely filled with birds. And keep in mind, after this, there is maybe 10 more stop points. I'm not too sure. I, I don't even know what number Bird Rock is, but there may be 10 more uh, stops after this. All right, here's the next checkpoint. It's called the Cypress Point Lookout. This is the reason why. Turn the camera around right now. And this viewpoint is incredible, for one.
it's in season. Is that you? Am I gonna fall if I do? Alright, this is uh, stop point number 12, I believe it's called the Lone Cypress, which I don't really know why because the most iconic thing about this stop point is this, actually this tree right here. But the view is amazing, so very enjoyable. Alright, I believe we are at the last checkpoint, if I'm correct. I always get this confused. We are at the Pebble Beach Concourse, uh, for those of you who are car enthusiasts. This is where they usually host um, or have, uh, I guess, collector cars or prototypes. Um, down there in that general area, they have a little uh, putting green. And on the putting green is where they usually park the cars for show. I've only been once and I got lucky, or my family got lucky, we got to go in and see the cars, but um, that's during car week. And then the, the rest of the year it's just a bunch of shops. Um, there's a convenience store and then there's also a golf shop. And yeah, that's this is pretty much the end of 17 Mile, I think, I'm not too sure, because uh, the uh, after this stop, and then at the end of the road is the exit towards Carmel by the Sea, which is right beside Monterey. So, I will continue the video after we get to Carmel. Alright, this is hilarious, but we found where they did the donuts and the skid marks during car week in Carmel, and it's at this intersection right here. Headlights illuminated the skid marks, and I literally made it a goal that the next time I came here after car week that I would find the skid marks, and the center is I can use it. I just find that to be so funny. Alright, I'm gonna conclude the video right here. It's about 9 10 p.m., and after we walk around Carmel, uh, we're gonna head back home, so with that being said, I hope everyone has an awesome Labor Day weekend, uh, I sure as hell had an awesome Saturday, I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow and Monday, but um, I think we're gonna go shopping, but either way, I'm gonna take the camera with me as well, but as far as today goes, uh, this is it, so I hope everyone has an awesome night, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.